Hi folks, welcome to Recommended Reads from the Heritage Volunteering Group. This is the show where we take a look at some of our favorite books and articles from the world of business and beyond, and think about how they apply to our work with volunteers. Today we're discussing New Power by Jeremy Hymans and Henry Timms. This fascinating book explores how we can move from traditional top-down approaches to influence, also known as old power, to more decentralized, collaborative and participatory models, which we call New Power. Old power relies on control, hierarchy, and gatekeepers, whereas new power is open, accessible, and thrives on crowd participation. The key difference lies in how power is gained and spread. Where old power is held by a few, new power is shared and spread by the many. For those working with volunteers, embracing new power can be transformative in driving culture change and increasing volunteer buy-in. This might mean shifting from simply managing volunteers to empowering them to take leadership roles contribute ideas, and share ownership of your mission. New Power operates through a network of shared values and collective action. To encourage buy-in for new ways of volunteering, we must create open channels of communication, transparency, and participation. Volunteerism, when built on New Power principles, becomes more dynamic, flexible, and responsive to community needs. Volunteers are no longer passive participants in our programs, but active co-creators of it. In practice, this could mean launching platforms that enable volunteers to connect, share insights, and shape initiatives, turning a static volunteer program into an adaptive, community-led movement. It could also mean fostering a culture where feedback and innovation are not only welcomed, but celebrated and acted upon, giving volunteers the freedom to experiment and improve the way they engage with your organization. By embracing new power ideas, we can cultivate a more inclusive, participatory culture that energizes and retains volunteers. The result is a more resilient, impactful volunteer movement, where people are inspired not just by directives, but by their shared ownership of the cause. Well, that's it for today. We hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, don't forget to hit subscribe and share with your colleagues. See you next time on Recommended Reads.